This device has two pacer mode settings, demand and fixed. The factory default mode setting is demand. In demand mode, pacing pulses are inhibited by the patient's QRS complexes that occur during an interval that is dependent on the setting of the rate control. If during that interval no QRS complexes are detected, a pacing impulse is delivered to the patient. In the demand mode, the pacer supplies a required number of pacing pulses to maintain the patient's heart rate at approximately the rate selected in the pacing rate window. To pace in demand mode, apply ECG electrodes, attach lead wires, and connect the ECG cable to the side panel. Connect the therapy electrodes to the multifunction cable. Press the lead quick access key and select leads 1, 2, or 3 to provide the largest amplitude QRS complex. Verify that R waves are being properly detected by confirming that a QRS tone occurs with each displayed R wave or by verifying that the heart rate display accurately reflects the patient's pulse rate. Press the pacer button on the front panel of the unit. The pacer settings window displays. Use the arrow keys to navigate the mode, press the select button, and then use the arrow and select buttons to set the pacer mode to fixed. Use the arrow keys to navigate to rate, press the select button, and then use the arrow keys and the select button to set the pacer rate to a value 10 to 20 paces per minute higher than the patient's intrinsic heart rate. If no intrinsic rate exists, use 100 paces per minute. You can increase or decrease the pacer rate by a value of 5 paces per minute for rates below 100 and 10 paces per minute for rates above 100. Use the arrows key to navigate to start pacer and then press the select button to select it. The pacing window displays behind the pacer settings window. In the pacer settings window, use the arrow key and the select button to adjust the pacer output. The pacer output is adjustable in 10 milliamp increments when increasing the output and in 5 milliamp increments when decreasing the output. Observe the ECG for evidence of electrical capture. Select the lowest output current that achieves both electrical and mechanical capture. It is important to recognize when pacing stimulation has produced a ventricular response or capture. Determination of capture must be assessed both electrically and mechanically in order to ensure appropriate circulatory support of the patient. Electrical capture is determined by the presence of a widened QRS complex, the loss of any underlying intrinsic rhythm, and the appearance of an extended and sometimes enlarged T wave. Ventricular response is normally characterized by suppression of the intrinsic QRS complex. Mechanical capture is assessed by palpation of the peripheral pulse. To avoid mistaking muscular response for pacing stimuli from arterial pulsations, use only the following locations for palpating pulse during pacing. Femoral artery, right brachial or radial artery, if ECG electrodes are not available or there is a circumstance that prevents or interferes with the surface ECG, this device delivers pacemaker pulses at a fixed rate. Fixed pacing should be performed only in an emergency when no alternative is available. Non-invasive pacing of pediatric patients is performed in an identical manner to adult pacing. Smaller size pediatric therapy electrodes are available for patients weighing less than 33 pounds or 15 kilograms. If it is necessary to pace for more than 30 minutes, periodic inspection of the underlying skin is strongly advised. Carefully follow all instructions on electrode packaging.